Sir Isaac Newton was born on January 4, 1643, in Lincolnshire, England. Newton was born three months after the death of his father, a prosperous farmer of the same name. His mother, Hannah, was left to care for him on her own. When Newton was three years old, his mother remarried and went to live with her new husband, the Reverend Barnabas Smith, leaving her son in the care of his maternal grandmother, Marjorie Iscall. The young Isaac disliked his stepfather and held a grudge towards his mother for marrying. From the age of about 12 until he was 17, Newton was educated at the King's School. He was removed from the school in October 1659 by his mother, who was widowed for a second time. She hoped to teach her son how to farm in the hopes that he might help support her. Henry Stokes, headmaster at the King's School, persuaded Newton's mother to send him back to school so that he could complete his education. Newton became one of the best students at the school, despite being bullied. Many psychologists and historians believe that Newton suffered from Asperger's syndrome, which may have contributed to his bullying. In June 1661, Newton was admitted to the Trinity College at Cambridge University on a scholarship. At that time, the college's teachings were based on the Greek philosopher Aristotle. However, Newton preferred to study the more advanced ideas of modern philosophers, such as Descartes, and of astronomers, such as Copernicus, Galileo, and Kepler. In 1665, Newton discovered the generalized binomial theorem and began to develop a mathematical theory that later became an accepted theory in calculus. Soon after obtaining his degree in August 1665, the university temporarily closed as a precaution against the Great Plague. Although he had gone undistinguished as a Cambridge student, Newton's private studies at his home in Lincolnshire over the subsequent two years saw the development of his theories on calculus, optics, and the law of gravitation. In 1667, Newton returned to Cambridge as a Fellow of Trinity. Fellows were required to become ordained priests, something Newton desired to avoid due to his unorthodox views. Luckily, though, there was no specific deadline for ordination, and it could be postponed indefinitely. The problem grew more severe when Newton was selected for the prestigious Lucasian chair. For such a significant event, ordaining could normally not be avoided. Nevertheless, Newton was able to obtain special permission from His Majesty King Charles II. The Three Laws of Motion were first compiled by Newton in his work, Natural Philosophy and the Principles of Mathematics, which was first published on July 5, 1687. Newton used them to explain and investigate the motion of many physical objects and systems. Newton's first law states that, an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Newton's second law states that an object's velocity will change when a force pushes or pulls on it. Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's work continues to influence us today. His laws of motion govern the basic ideas of physics. His theory on gravity was eventually adopted in the scientific law and is still used in scientific theory to this day. His work has been studied and built upon by numerous scientists over the years. Newton's contributions to science will not soon be forgotten.